Hello guys, today in this video, I will be showing you how you can set up your mutable character in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. So for this video, I will be using my Goblin character and this was in like Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is like currently known as Fab. And from you can download this also, it was like in free four month asset some time ago. You can use any of your own characters, like there is no issue and uh, after, first of all you have to go inside your plugin section and enable your mutables plugin just enable this plugin after enabling it you have to restart your unreal engine after restarting your unreal engine you are ready to go just uh, create any folder or place it wherever you want so whenever you right click you will find a mutable option now so inside this after clicking after hovering over mutable click on the customizable object i will name it this goblin I will open this thing so inside this you will say it's completely empty you just have a base object so first of all we have to add our skeletal mesh base skeletal mesh for our uh, character so there is a node called skeletal mesh you will search for it and inside this you can assign your skeletal mesh uh, whatever base skeletal mesh you have for me I will assign my goblin so if I go inside my goblin base I will assign this green color goblin I will just assign it here and it's assigned after that you have to add it to a mesh section so you have to search for a mesh section thing from this thing from this node you can like customize your materials and all those stuff i will be showing these things also shortly so after the, this mesh section you have to add it to a mesh component so search for mesh component and inside this uh, there is a component this component name should be unique and uh, the, uh, this name is the thing like which we will be using inside our char uh, blueprint character for like finding out like which component we want to assign for the skeletal mesh and after that you can just directly assign it to the component now if we compile we should see inside the preview we should see our uh, goblin character but if i'm compiling yeah i made a mistake uh, you have to like uh, whatever skeletal mesh you assigned in the skeletal mesh node you also have to assign it inside, inside the mesh component also so I will assign it here also. Now if I compile, I should see my goblin character. Now you can see it's like looking properly. Now we can add like um, other characters like it's clothes, ca cap or pants, any kind of things. Now let's give some armor to our goblin character. For that I will create a object group. I will directly assign it to the children component and I will name it chest armor. Now I will create a new customizable object for my chest. So I will create a new folder. Name it chest. Inside that I will create a customizable object. I will name it CEO underscore chest1. I will open this thing up. And inside here I will do the same thing which I did here. Just on place of this I will add a, I will not create a new mesh component. I will add to a mesh component. So for that, first of all, let's get our skeletal mesh node. Inside that, I will assign my goblin armor. This is my goblin armor. I will directly assign it here for the chest thing. I will create a mesh section. Now I will call add to mesh component because we already created the component inside of our main customizable object. So I will give exactly the same component name which I gave here to here also and i will connect it to the component and this unnamed object this i will name it chest armor one and this i will uh, i will have to attach this thing to our chest armor here so i will click here i will find my customizable goblin care object and inside here i will choose this thing chest armor so i have created it i will compile it and save now if we go inside our goblin thing and compile this and save also you will see the external object have been attached to this thing and on place of token we will choose a enum so choose the one or none it will be like an enum thing so if i compile and save now you will see inside our instance parameter there is a uh, and there is a new variable named chest armor Inside this, like we will have a drop down the chest armor one. 
So if I select the chest armor one, you can see my goblin is wearing this armor. And if I choose none, it is not wearing that. If you want to remove this like default thing none, so here you can just uh, Mm, at least one option selected you can select this thing and here chest armor by default so you will only see this one thing chest armor one and nothing else so that's it and we have created the armor for our goblin chest armor so similarly i will create a another chest armor which will be like another type of skin so i will just duplicate it and add it here inside this i will just replace my this thing to the ice armor this time i will go inside my chest thing here i will assign it now if i compile i will compile it and save and there is one thing like there is some bug in this mesh section node so mostly it's better to if you create this again sometime it have the old material reference so you will just directly connect it here compile it we uh, we already have the component name as same as our parent component and this i will just name it chest armor 2 i will compile it and save it now i will go to my main goblin character now we should see two things here the chest armor 1 and 2 if i select 2 you can see like now i have ice armor on the one i have the normal armor so like this we can create for all our things so now let's give it some boots so i will create a boots here and i will just do the same thing which i did inside my chest thing i will just duplicate both of these and put it inside my bush boots folder move it there and i will name it just boots I will open both of these. Now inside my boots one, I will assign my boot skeletal mesh. This is my boot skeletal mesh. I will take this one. I will go to my the boots one. Here I will just directly assign and you can see the material haven't been updated so i will just create a new mess section node and i will just directly assign it like this remove it now i will name it boots one same thing i will do for this thing also i will just directly browse to it i will give now in this one i will give the ice boots and again i will add the mesh section assign it here remove it now i will compile it and save now we are ready let's go inside of our main goblin character and test it if it's working it's coming but yeah we, i made a mistake i will uh, add a new object group here this i will name boots armor I will edit, compile it and save it. And now let's go inside our boots. Here I will assign it to uh, this new object group is not showing. I will compile it again like mutable have some bugs I think. So now is it showing? It's not showing. I will compile this and save this one also. Now also it's not showing. I will like clear it. Choose my goblin thing again. Now this time it's showing. So. Um, be aware like it have some bugs mainly and yeah this one i will name boots too and inside here i will clear this thing up add my goblin again choose my boots armor so we have attached our boots also to our main object so if we compile it and save by default let's select the boots one compile save and if you will see like we have our boots boots now 
these are not spurs these are kind of syntax so nah, just i named it wrong let it be so if i select my boots too like i have the ice boots now if i select boots on the normal one is here so similarly like you can create uh, a lot of customizable object like you can create same for our pants like if you want some armor like weapons also you can add here shields also you can add here similarly you can add now i will show you like how you can like add it inside our character so first of all i will go to my third person character only because it's a third person template i will open this thing up after opening inside my mesh just remove it we don't need it no we don't need this thing and here just remove this animation also and inside here we have to add a component that is customizable object something customizable skeletal we have to add it here and inside here we have to select a customizable object instance so for creating this instance you can go to our main goblin character right click and you can create the customizable object create just click on create new instance now it will create this thing but now we have added our goblin character instance so we will just go inside our third person character assign this thing here component index just give it minus one for now and name this should be our body which we gave inside our main goblin character customizable object this should be the component name whatever it's here so now technically now if it's if we play we should see our character now you can see like it came here also if i compile it and save we can play also uh, as of now i don't have animation on it so it's working like this weird thing so now i will show you how you can like change these uh, things uh, these like scale uh, whatever these armor uh, at runtime so let's go inside our this thing third person character for testing i will just use my input keys So whenever I press one, I, I want to change my skeleton message to the ice armor on place of the normal armor. So I will just get this. I will get my object instance from this thing. I will check if it's valid or not. Technically, it should always be valid. And after that, I will use set int parameter, selected options and inside here we have to give the parameter name mainly the parameter name will be this thing so let's go to our goblin thing this is our parameter name for example this chest armor we want to change switch it to the from in the chest armor parameter name we want to select the armor too so i will just copy this name go inside my third person character i copied something wrong I will copy this thing, go inside my third person. I will edit the ch chest armor there, and I want to equip the chest armor to here. So, on plan. So, now let's test this. So, whenever I press one, at the time it should change the chest armor from uh, no, from the normal armor to the ice armor and yeah one more thing you have to call the up, update skeletal mesh after this this update skeletal mesh async you can add this thing here now compile it and save it let's see it should work now so now if i press one you can see my armor change to the ice so let's test it again so if i play it again after that after our previous session you can see like it's persisting the ice armor by default last time we changed it to the ice armor but still it's having the ice armor only so for fixing that on the begin play we will just set the value to the default one and here I will just uh, set the parameter to the chest one by default because we want to keep it to that value or I think there is a variable name set default value also yeah there is that default value also so I will just copy my parameter name 
So whatever is the default value we set in our customizable object, it will just set to that thing. And I will update my mesh also after this. Technically, it should work. Let's test this thing. So if you play it again, you can see we are having the iron armor again. If I press one, we got the ice armor. Play it. Let's play it again just to be safe. Yeah, you can see we have the iron armor. Now we have the ice armor. So it's working. So same like that you can do for our boots also. So let's quickly do for our boots also. So here this I will assign it to the two key. And on place of chest armor, we will see what is the value that we have assigned. For the boots, we will use the boots armor. I will go to the here. On the parameter thing, I will just choose this thing. And what is the name of our this thing? Yeah, that is boots 1 and 2. So by default, we are selecting the 1. So we will just select 2 here. Now, see, now it should work. Now let's compile it and save it. Now let's play it. So if you are seeing, so if I press 1, it will change my chest armor to the ice armor. You can see it's changed. And if I press 2, it should change our this shin pad or boots to the ice boots. You can see it's changed to the ice. So you now sim similar like that you can create your customizable object for anything. So in the in the next video I will be showing you like how to create this customizable object at runtime, and so we don't have to create this instance in our uh, in our like content browser, and at that time we don't have to even set these default values also and in the next video i will be showing you like how you can change the color texture materials and everything so if you want to make this armor yellow white whatever the color you want i will be showing you all those things so this video was just for basic thing i hopefully you understand all these things if you have any kind of doubt just uh, ping me on my discord channel or you can leave a comment in the comment section also so thanks for everything and bye bye